Hello everybody, I am incredibly excited today to give you the first demonstration of quite a sophisticated AI running on blockchain. That blockchain of course is the internet computer, the only blockchain in the world today that can run compute at scale. There's a lot of talk about you know blockchains for AI, tokens for AI and things like that. This is the real deal. This is AI running on the blockchain. So today I'm going to demonstrate image classification which involves a neural network running inside a smart contract. In fact that neural network has been compiled to WebAssembly um, which is what you know runs on the internet computer. Okay so without further ado let's get started. Um, so this, this uh, web page you see here is being created by Canister Smart Contract with the AI inside. So I click this logo and it's going to ask me to select an image file to classify. So the first one's a tiger. Let's see how it does. Now, um, be warned this is going to take about 10 seconds. Um, currently, uh, it's, it's processing about 20 billion WASM instructions to classify the, the image. But that's going to come down um, very dramatically in the future. The race to merge artificial intelligence with blockchain has been full of promises, but short on real progress. Most networks still struggle with basic speed and storage, leaving AI integration stuck behind marketing lines and unfinished roadmaps. But something different is happening now. The internet computer is stepping forward with a move that changes the direction of Web3 entirely. It's becoming the first blockchain that can actually run AI inside the chain itself not through external servers or centralized APIs. This isn't a small upgrade. It's the start of a new phase where blockchains can reason, adapt, and support intelligent applications at a scale never seen before. What's happening with ICP right now could reshape how people build, use, and trust digital systems in the years ahead. This video is created for educational and informational purposes only. It does not promote or endorse any financial product, investment, or cryptocurrency. All information presented here is based on publicly available sources and independent analysis. Viewers are encouraged to conduct their own research before making any financial or technological decisions. The idea of a blockchain being powered by artificial intelligence once sounded like fiction. Today it's becoming real, and the project leading this shift is the Internet computer. The announcement isn't just another feature update. It signals a turning point where blockchains move past their old limitations and step into a new era where they can actually think, act, and evolve. Most networks still struggle with basic performance issues. Meanwhile, the Internet computer is moving toward a model that merges decentralized computing with autonomous intelligence, breaks down what this transformation means, why the move matters, and how it reshapes the future of Web3. For years, people talked about the coming wave of AI blockchains. The promises were bold, smarter contracts, self-optimizing networks, real-time data reasoning. But almost every chain ran into the same walls. Their fees were too high, their storage was too small, their compute was too weak, and their dependence on external services made them fragile. Instead of creating AI inside the chain, developers had to rely on centralized APIs or external servers. This left a gap between what the industry promised and what was actually possible. The Internet computer is now closing that gap faster than anyone expected. The Internet computer already stands apart because it's built like a global cloud, not a traditional blockchain. Smart contracts don't sit on slow virtual machines. Instead, they run in WebAssembly on high-performance subnets that operate like decentralized data centers. These can hold massive data sets, run heavy workloads, and interact with the open Internet. This foundation is the key reason the Internet computer can support full on-chain AI. It's the only major chain that allows smart contracts to store gigabytes of data while running complex execution at predictable, low cost. No other chain has this range of compute power available natively. The newest development takes this even further. The Internet computer is introducing what the community calls AI canisters. These are smart contracts with specialized computabilities designed to host AI models inside the blockchain itself. Not references, not calls, not bridges, actual models deployed as autonomous software. Instead of relying on external servers, these AI canisters live as part of the chain, governed through decentralization and secured through cryptography. This shift changes everything. It turns the blockchain from a ledger into a living computational network.
Imagine a model that doesn't sit on a company's server. Instead, it lives inside a decentralized smart contract. It can be updated through community proposals. It can reason over data. It can support dApps. It can respond to users in real time without relying on a centralized backend. This makes AI transparent, verifiable, and trustless. If the model changes, everyone sees the change. If the model responds, everyone knows the response came from a decentralized source, not a controlled server. For the first time, AI becomes publicly owned infrastructure. This creates a new category of applications. Social platforms where the recommendation engine runs on chain. Marketplaces where pricing models operate autonomously. Gaming worlds where NPCs are powered by verifiable neural networks. Data networks that learn from user input but preserve privacy through on-chain governance. Even decentralized assistants and agents that follow rules written in smart contracts rather than corporate algorithm policies. These ideas were impossible on traditional blockchains, but the internet computer makes them realistic. One of the biggest breakthroughs is the chain's ability to manage memory. Neural networks require large datasets and constant access to storage. Most chains simply aren't built for this. They charge per kilobyte or rely on off-chain vendors. The internet computer canisters can store gigabytes natively at stable cost. This allows entire models, including embeddings and inference modules, to sit inside smart contracts. Over time, developers can even add new layers, merge datasets, or deploy upgraded versions through decentralized governance. The chain itself becomes the hosting layer for AI. The second breakthrough comes from compute scaling. AI inference requires processing power, especially when multiple users interact with the model at once. Traditional chains can't handle this because their TPS limits are too rigid. The internet computer expands through subnets. These subnets can specialize, meaning some can be optimized for high computation. This creates the world's first environment where a blockchain can allocate compute resources the way a cloud service would, but without central control. With AI canisters, the chain assigns more compute cycles when demand rises, allowing smooth performance during heavy load. Another core piece of the puzzle is the chain's direct web integration. The internet computer can make HTTPS calls from inside smart contracts without relying on oracles or third-party APIs. This allows AI canisters to reference live information such as markets, weather, social feeds, or IoT data. When combined with on-chain intelligence, these models become both dynamic and autonomous. They can respond to real-world events, update their reasoning, or support dApps with fresh information. This is a major advantage over other networks where smart contracts are isolated and blind. Of course, none of this works without decentralization. When AI sits on private servers, users have no visibility into how decisions are made. On the internet computer, governance is handled by the Network Nervous System, an open DAO where proposals are submitted and voted on publicly. This means that even the AI models themselves can be governed by the community. If a neural network receives an update, the process is transparent. If bias needs correction, the community can intervene. This blend of AI and DAO governance creates a new standard for responsible, open-source intelligence. The impact on developers is enormous. Building AI-driven apps no longer requires juggling API keys, external hosts, and centralized dependencies. Instead, the entire stack, front-end, back-end, storage, and intelligence can live on a single decentralized protocol. A developer can deploy a dApp where the AI logic is part of the same contract that handles user data. This removes risk, simplifies architecture, and increases reliability. It also lowers cost. Traditional AI hosting on cloud providers can become expensive quickly. On the internet computer, compute cycles are predictable and optimized, reducing long-term expenses for teams and users. This move also positions the internet computer as a strong competitor in the broader AI economy. As major companies race to build closed AI ecosystems, the internet computer is building an open one. While others lock their models behind subscriptions and proprietary APIs, ICP is offering a path where AI operates as public infrastructure. It becomes a shared resource owned by the network. This aligns with the principles of Web3, where decentralization and transparency matter. Instead of central authorities controlling intelligence, communities manage it together. The timing of this shift is crucial. AI adoption is skyrocketing. Every industry is incorporating models into workflows. 
At the same time, concerns about control, privacy, and centralization continue to grow. People want intelligent tools, but they don't want to surrender their data. They want transparency, but most companies treat AI development as a black box. The Internet computer provides a solution that addresses both needs, high-performance intelligence and decentralized governance. It gives users confidence that the systems acting on their behalf are accountable. In the long term, this could reshape digital infrastructure entirely. Instead of cloud companies hosting AI, networks like ICP could become the backbone of intelligent online services. Instead of apps outsourcing tasks to centralized servers, they can route everything through on-chain AI actors. Over time, more advanced models may emerge, trained and stored inside decentralized systems rather than corporate data centers. This could lead to a future where the highest value digital intelligence is not owned by private institutions but by public networks protected by cryptography. Another important outcome is interoperability. The Internet computer already integrates with Ethereum, Bitcoin, and other major networks through chain key technology. Once AI canisters mature, these models could act across chains. They could help manage liquidity, automate strategies, or analyze market conditions for decentralized finance across multiple ecosystems. They could also inspect smart contract activity, detect patterns, or monitor network health. AI could become the independent layer that observes and optimizes blockchain interactions on a global scale. The move also strengthens the Internet computer's position in the race toward autonomous agents. Many teams across Web3 are experimenting with agents that can trade, manage wallets, or run strategies with minimal human input. But most agents today still rely on centralized compute. AI canisters introduce a path for creating agents that live fully on-chain. These agents can submit proposals, react to real-time data, and perform tasks without relying on external clouds. This is the first step toward autonomous, decentralized intelligence acting within blockchain governance frameworks. One of the most intriguing possibilities comes from combining on-chain AI with decentralized identity. The Internet computer already supports Web3 identity solutions that avoid centralized login systems. When paired with AI canisters, users could interact with intelligent systems that understand preferences, protect data, and deliver personalized results, all without storing information on corporate servers. This creates safer digital environments where people maintain control over their identity while still benefiting from intelligent services. The economic implications are significant as well. Networks that support AI-powered applications could attract developers from fields like robotics, data science, analytics, and automation. As demand for AI processing grows, blockchains capable of hosting intelligence will stand out. ICP is among the first to move in this direction which gives it a strong early mover advantage. If the ecosystem grows around AI canisters the same way it grew around DeFi or NFTs on other chains, the internet computer could become a center for next-generation applications. The community will also shape how the technology evolves. Because updates are voted on, the future of on-chain AI will be guided by the people who use it. This is very different from the corporate AI landscape where decisions are top-down. On ICP, anyone holding governance power can help direct the trajectory. This collective approach creates stability and avoids the risk of AI capabilities being controlled by a handful of stakeholders. As this technology matures, expect more advanced tools, improved inference performance, and refined developer resources. The first wave of AI canisters may support small to medium models. Later versions will host larger architectures, better memory management, and deeper integration with Web3 services. Over time, this creates a fully decentralized AI grid running on the Internet computer. Each update will push the boundaries of what's possible inside a blockchain environment. The narrative surrounding the Internet computer is shifting. For years, most chains focused on speed, fees, and transactions per second. Those metrics still matter, but they no longer define the future. The next battleground is intelligence. It's about which network can combine decentralization with real computation. It's about which chain can serve as the foundation for a global AI layer. With its new direction, the Internet computer is positioning itself at that frontier. This isn't just an upgrade. It's a structural shift. The Internet computer is becoming the world's first blockchain capable of hosting and running AI at scale. This establishes a new baseline. A blockchain that can think. A network that can reason. 
a decentralized system capable of powering entire categories of intelligent applications that weren't possible before. Developers looking to build serious AI products now have an alternative to centralized clouds. Users seeking transparency can interact with AI that's governed openly. Businesses that need predictable costs can rely on decentralized compute cycles. And the Web3 community gains a network where intelligence is treated as a shared resource, not a proprietary asset. The introduction of AI canisters marks the beginning of a new technological era, one where building intelligent, trustless systems becomes the norm rather than the exception. One where blockchain isn't just infrastructure for transaction settlement, but a platform for advanced reasoning. And one where decentralization finally reaches the domain of intelligence. The Internet computer's bold move places it ahead of the curve at a time when AI is becoming the most important layer of modern technology. This is the catalyst that turns the network into more than a computation layer. It becomes a global AI engine, governed by its community, powered by cryptography, and capable of supporting intelligent applications on a scale the industry has not yet seen. All right, if you learned something new or enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.